Hello everybody! Welcome back to another Speckig adventure. I want to say Happy New Year! Uh, this is the very first 2021 mm -hmm. video for Speck Egg, so I'm hoping everybody had a fabulous Christmas and has a very good start to a very happy new year. Um, with that said, let's jump straight into the video. January 10th, we attended a Laguna Seca track day. Um, I took my NB Miata Chatter and Tommy took his NC Miata. Before the actual Laguna track day, my car was already exhibiting some um, alternator issue. Um, even though the alternator was actually overcharged before the event, right after one hot session, my battery light actually came on. We tested the uh, alternator and it was actually undercharging. Undercharged. Um, unfortunately, I had to end my track day short because of the uh, alternator issue. I only was really able to get one good session in um, for Laguna. Um, and for whatever reason, um, my track timing app didn't really work during that time. I forgot to set it or something like that. So I don't have an official time for you guys, but reviewing the footages, I would say it was somewhere around 159. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, that was already a PB for me. Um, and, um, you know, also considering the fact that these are uh, new tires that I'm on, 200 Treadwear. So, um, that's probably where the time came from. I was still very hesitant with uh, the car setup currently, especially on another new track that I haven't been on with the current setup. Yeah, I'm gonna attribute the fact that maybe, you know, I feel like it was going a lot faster, but you know, I'm gonna attribute the fact that and say like, maybe I didn't have enough power because of alternator issues, who knows. Um, so coming into this turn, um, I always used to swing really, really wide because I didn't have enough grip. Um, so I was assessing different lines to take it. Um, I During that one, I was taking it a little bit more shallow than normal. This one, I was hesitating a little bit and lifting a bit much, even though I had a lot of grip I knew that I had. always tricky I always end up um, you know like uh, shaving off a lot of um, speed when I can actually carry more sometimes over braking this one I'm always too chicken <laughs> me too but I think the the obviously the car and the tires can take it now but it just takes some time to build up that confidence there Corkscrew, I was over slowing. I didn't really see a point in, you know, sending it full on early in the day. So I was taking it much slower than I normally would have. Here, um, I also have a lot more grit, but um, it's also kind of sketchy coming down here. This it's always right sketchy. Now. So this one, I could go a little bit faster, I know, carrying a lot more speed. And coming up to this last turn, um, I was taking this one during the session in third. I normally take it in second. Um, that was just because of me kind of um, trying, out different trying out different things and getting used to the lines first and stuff like that. So I was just taking it in third. What's well, smooth driving? Yeah, um, I, I would say, cause this is actually my first actual hot session of the day right. um so you know um i was just starting to get comfortable with the car getting familiarized with the lines so um, i wasn't going as fast as i would say i could have probably if you gave me one or two more sessions yeah, yeah. it came out to around like a 159 if you actually just you know like video tracked it um, so yeah, I would say most of it, um, it really just came down to confidence because it's a brand new car setup and it's still very new to me. Um, and I'm not as familiar communicating with these tires as I was with 340 Treadwares, which usually are a lot louder, um, and they communicate a lot mm -hmm. more, like just more frequently. Um, I would say the more seat time I have, um, that's where that confidence is going to come. Because it was early on in the day, I didn't really break too far into it. 
Um, so um, I would say I was only maybe around like 30-40% of mm. using the actual breaks. Um, and I feel like Laguna is one of those places where break is important, but I also feel like momentum is really important for it my is, type yeah. of car. So during Laguna, I don't really use that much brakes, I feel like. I usually end up coasting a lot, and um, I find myself really liking to trail break a lot during Laguna. Mm. Um, so I don't actually use as much brakes. Um, but I would say these brakes, the R4s, um, they're really good for that um, since they have a lot of modulation. Okay. The goal for uh, this time around was actually 155. Um, I think it was completely possible um, if you give me a little bit more seat time um, that I obviously didn't get this, this time around. All right, let's move on to Tommy's uh, clip. This time around, I did a 154. Uh, compared to the last time I went to Laguna in July, I actually did 153. So I'm actually a second slower compared to last time. On this day, it's my 12th track day on these tires. So they didn't grip at this like maximum uh, performance. One thing I noticed uh, is some of the turns, like I wasn't able to turn as quick it's like the card wasn't as confident compared to uh, the event in July I well, bought some new tire on T615K plus same as Tiffany uh, so maybe hopefully next time I can get down to low 150s uh, we'll see um, well we hope you guys enjoy that video um, and we hope to catch you at one of our next track days um, thank you very much for yep. tuning in and uh, stay tuned for more Spec Adventure.